Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Good morning and welcome. This is the Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice. I'm your host, Michelle Beltran. I'm trusting that you are all well and this finds you in the best of spirits today. I'm especially excited about this episode. I've been working on it for a few weeks. It's been in my queue, so to speak, and finally, here we are, and I'm real delighted to talk about this topic. It comes quite often in sessions. I get emails, newsletter uh, references and requests about this. The meaning of repeating numbers. So many of us are seeing repeated numbers. It is one of the most common questions, again, that I'm asked. Uh, I'm often asked, what's the meaning of the 111 or the 222 or the 555? So you're not alone. This is quite a common question and curiosity. It happens to many of us. Indeed, each situation is different for each person. But generally, uh, I'm learning about hearing about people saying they're seeing recurring numbers. It's almost as if it's following you in a wonderful, good, high vibration way, but indeed it's everywhere. Uh, The recurring numbers appear on license plates, on clocks, on billboards, digital screens, book covers, zip codes, house numbers, you name it. You get in the car and it's on your odometer. It's everywhere. Uh, So, for example, uh, recently I've had uh, a client mention seeing the numbers uh, 222 or 222 on the the phone repeatedly. and so, and then they see this in their odometer, and then they're on their way to work and they see the 222 on the license plate on the car in front of them as they're in the drive up lane getting coffee headed to work. And so, at this point, uh, anyone, uh, this person in particular, is saying, All right, universe, what is happening here? And so, There's a sense, indeed, that any one of us in this situation would have about the synchronicity of this happening, that you're sure there's something bigger at work here. And, in fact, there is something bigger than you at work here, bigger than this particular person in this circumstance. All right, so let's talk about this further then and dive right in today. When you're seeing repeated numbers, why are they coming? So before we look at what the digit itself means, we'll get to that later today in our episode, but this why matters. Understand that absolutely everything in the universe Even we, as humans, are part of a mathematical structure, so to speak. Look around you now. Everything you see and that you don't see is made up of particles. These particles have energy. You can think of the energy as a charge or a frequency, and this makes them spin. These particles then spin due to this charge. So the spinning particles are purely mathematical. Even space, which has dimension, is mathematical, having its own geometric pattern. And so when you understand that all things are mathematical, you begin to understand why repeated numbers would present themselves. 
It just makes sense. Not only that, but when we're born into this world, our very own unique number signature is encoded into our name and our birth date. Two separate words there, birth date. These numbers capture the essence of our life path. Second, your birth number goes right along with the concept of numerology, meaning numbers are the makeup of the universe. And so it actually turns out that numbers are the easiest way for higher realms to get our attention. Even that day you were born, that birth date, right, comes with a powerful mathematical influence, hence the study of numerology. Your birthday number is an extremely important mathematical number, albeit on a personal level. In the realm of numerology, your birthday numbers are the five most influential numbers. This highly charged mathematical number reveals very telling insight about your life calling, traits, skills you possess, and even challenges to be mindful of in your life. So at the core, mathematics is deeply embedded even in our birthday. And it's here to help us along with our life path, this birthday number. So with this in mind, the why about these numbers presenting, I want to look a little bit more now behind the coming of the recurring numbers and what really is the point in this numbers communication. All right, so as you already know, recurring numbers are a higher message confirming goodness and divine aligning in your life. But to be more specific, there's a few other things happening here. First of all, this is, uh, these numbers will present when there's a spiritual awakening happening of some kind. When you are going through a spiritual awakening, which often, by the way, comes on the heels of a depression or loss or life trauma of some kind, you're going to begin to see the world through a new lens. Desires and interests and hobbies and even friends change. New things move you. It becomes important to spend every moment of every day doing the things you enjoy most and with people who add to your life. You begin to set boundaries with people and speak your voice. It's during this time that you actually may begin to see recurring numbers more. This is the, because the universe is, knows you're ready, knows you can receive it and hear it and understand and respond. So then insight will come in this way. Be also aware that these recurring numbers will come as warnings or support. Sometimes repeating numbers are a strong nudge and warning to help you listen up and pay attention. Other times, it's your higher self just saying hello and letting you know they are there as your cheering section, so to speak, rooting you on and in support. Last, the recurring numbers are letting you know you're on track. Being on track or being in alignment means that you've never been in a more perfect time and place that is right for you than now. Over there, figuratively speaking, of course, is not better than where you are now. 
regardless what your present circumstance, where you are now is perfect. Even in chaos or a bottoming out, you're actually in alignment. I know that's a tough one to swallow, but you are. You might think of it like this. The bottoming out that you're in or may be in now directly correlates with the extent of the momentum coming to you ahead. So in this perspective, perhaps now you can grasp that and understand that you are always in alignment. Do your best to settle into that knowing and that the knowing that there's a perfect plan in place, it's unraveling now and you're doing just fine. Breathe that truth in. You're on track. And so sometimes those recurring numbers, those repeating numbers are coming in to let you know just that. All right, who is bringing these recurring numbers? Five things to consider. Your higher self, your spirit guides, any angels you're working with, and this could include archangels, the universe, and spirit or loved ones on the other side. And so, when you receive these repeating number messages through one of these sources, it becomes important for you to know what to do in those moments. Another uh, relevant aspect of these numbers and a, a question I'm often asked, well, what in the world do I do when they come in? So when you're in a situation in which you've seen a reoccurring number, Pay attention to what has just happened in the hour prior and the hour after. The universe, one of these five sources, angels, spirit guides, trying to get your attention. They want you to pay attention to what's happening in the hour prior and the, pri and the hour after. The message is coming in that time. Also, consider what you were thinking in that very moment those numbers were presenting to you. Third, your emotions are the single best way the universe, our higher self, and our guides can reach us. So, in that light, consider the emotions you're feeling in the moment the recurring numbers are delivered. Ask yourself, is this where you want to be? Ask yourself why those emotions are present. Sometimes we're in an emotional space that's not so positive and we're headed down a rabbit hole. Your higher self and guides will get your attention in those moments to pull you right back out. All right, so when these recurring numbers come, here's some steps for you. Take a deep breath, exhale, and say out loud, show me what I am meant to know about this recurring number. Next, immediately tune into all your senses, sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell, and let the message now come to you through your senses. Most people have one sense that is especially strong. If you notice that you tend to receive message, messages through hearing, then take your attention to your ears and focus there and listen. And it may not come right exactly now. Be willing to give it some time to present to you. But trust the very first message that does come through your senses 
It may be a slight, uh, it might be a gut sense, or it might be a slight message, very subtle. Trust that. You might receive an image or a flash of images, somewhat like a movie. You may know exactly what it means in that moment, or you may be unsure what it means just yet. If you're unsure, it's okay. That is still your answer. Let the knowing come. It will break through to your conscious mind as it's time. And sometimes this takes a few hours and sometimes it takes a day or two. Finally, in terms of what to do when you're seeing repeated numbers, make sure that you offer thanks to the higher forces who are bringing this invaluable insight. When I'm shown a recurring number, I will often put my hand on my heart in a space of honor and thanks. I'm honored to receive this message of meaningful guidance. I offer deep gratitude for this. A message of thanks matters. All right, everyone, let's get right to the recurring numbers and their meaning. This is guidance to get you started in discerning the meaning of repeating numbers you're seeing. But I want to make very clear that you are the best interpreter. This explanation that I'm offering is a guide for you. Always trust your own internal sense of the meaning of that recurring number first. All right, when you see the numbers 111, this means you're manifesting a new beginning. It's time to start something new. The out with the old, in with the new energy is all about you meaning all around you when you see these when you see the one 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 set yourself free to create your own unique path break away from the group or the pack this is a time to honor your autonomy and move into a take action and proactive space regarding new endeavors and in particular creative endeavors Right now, you want to be especially mindful of your thoughts. Remember that you create what you think, so give constant thought to what you want in order to bring it. You want to pay attention to your ideas and beliefs and feelings as you engage in these new creative beginnings. Remember that you are in your power as you manifest this new beginning, you are a conscious creator and release all fears now. All right, recurring twos. When you see the two, 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 this is a time to be cooperative, harmonize with others. This is a time to call for your most diplomatic self, finding balance in your life. You want to be mindful of processing, healing, and finding closure with any unresolved lingering emotions. Romantic relationships are represented within these trilogy of numbers. This very well means that is coming, some kind of romantic relationship, so embrace it. Begin a partnership and connect with others. It's a safe time to do so. Also, an opportunity to heal yourself and others may be ahead. Embrace that. The meaning of this number comes strongly with your intuition and development of it and your psychic self. 
begin a course in intuition, if you had been setting that aside, good time to do it. Trust in your own inner guidance system. This number trilogy also speaks to the feminine power and or the feminine aspects of yourself. Be mindful to stand very tall, communicate effectively, head high, be willing to say no with grace, love, and care. The trilogy twos also lets you know that your guides are very present, close with you now. Recurring threes. When you see the three, 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 it's telling you to be spontaneous, playful, joyful. It's reminding you that fun energies are abound and in a creative kind of expression. Allow yourself to wallow in this new, playful, joyful space. Laughter is your best remedy now. Be with your friends and family and be social. Expression creativity, uh, cre creatively is coming to you if you see these the trilogy of the threes, most especially in a written form, artistically or journaling. When you see this number sequence, you're reminded to speak your truth. Be mindful to put your feelings to words, but express those words in a healthy way. This is your reminder to spend time with children and do your best to see the world through their eyes. Which, by the way, is typically playful and joyful and stress-free. The essence of this number trilogy. If you're planning the vacation, do it. This is a a reminder that vacation or rest time is welcome. Nurture your personal care and rejuvenation to your body, physical body, and soul self are important. You're right where you're meant to be. And your ascended masters are with you. All right, recurring fours. This is a time to be steady. Create a foundation. Ground yourself and ground others around you. Be pragmatic. Discipline and stability are your focal points. It's time to put the ideas, the desires, and intentions to reality. Be relentless about those desires and intentions. Whatever you have shelved, things you've been wanting to do, pull them off the shelf, dust them off, do them, forge forward, nose to the grindstone. This is your reminder to have wisdom in finances, particularly regarding saving. Be honest, be with integrity, forthright, taking your responsibilities seriously now. You're building the foundation for the future. Make a commitment to your future. Be persistent and persevere. Be aware of giving attention to your health now and physical activities, but in particular, outdoors. Your angels are near you. Recurring fives. When you see five, 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 this is your sign to make positive changes 
and embrace challenges. There are some major life changes ahead, so prepare for those changes. Be willing to be flexible and go with the flow. This is an exploratory, adventurous time. Break free from the restraints, particularly self-imposed strengths, restraints. Meet new people, try new things and experiences. It's okay to change the routine right now. Think outside the box. It's also time to practice temperance and moderation. Follow your passions and be willing to take a risk. Be seen and heard. And don't be afraid to promote yourself. A new you is ready to be born. Be mindful of that much needed makeover. There are progressive and innovative opportunities coming. Be particularly open and aware for them. All right, recurring sixes. This number trilogy of numbers is all about family, love, and unity. They are each in full swing right now. At the core of this number trilogy is love, and that is on its way to you. Make quality time for those you love. Be there for family and friends and those who are counting on you. Address the elephant in the room. This is a nurturing time, so nurture those in need. Donate to a charity. Open that heart up, but love yourself first in the process. Focus on a bountiful home and health. Be mindful of healing yourself. And let go of the relationship that is not serving you any longer. If you're wanting to begin a family, now is the time. This number signifies a child coming to you or the family. So prepare for the new life, literally or symbolically. Be mindful that we are all one. Employ the law of one in your life and center with source energy. Recurring sevens. This is a time of calm, so go within. This is the perfect time to pray and be in your sacred space. Make that alone time for yourself. If it's only five minutes a day that you have to shut the door behind you as you walk into a quiet space and just be, then do it. Listen and authentically hear as you interact with the world around you. Be patient now. There's plenty of time. Be mindful of reflecting before you act. This is a great time to nourish your body with yoga or meditation. And again, just be as often as you can. This is discovery time for the spiritual you and the myst mysteries of the universe. So you might study metaphysics. You're really wanting to work on your spiritual development your intuitive self.
these numbers come with a code of learning and education. So going back to school, stepping into a new learning endeavor, doing some research, all important things to consider now. Reunite with a master or craft, master craft of some kind you've set aside. You're a singer. You used to be a piano player, but you set it aside. Bring it back in. An architect, a writer, a builder of some kind. Bring that master craft back in that you set aside. It's time to teach, educate, and inspire others. Last, the recurring sevens. There's also a connection with the animal spirit and outdoors, so be near animals. Be outdoors, especially near water. Be mindful, too, that this number is letting you know a, a spirit energy of some kind is near you and trying to connect. All right. Recurring eights. This trilogy of numbers is all about financial and career abundance. Abundance is on your path ahead. Be mindful of financial budgeting, resolving debt, and any legal matters. Focus on your career. This number indicates a change in job or promotion. So consider a new position or even a new employer. Most important though, adopt a perspective of abundance. You're on the right track and finances are improving for you. Be willing to relocate as this comes in. There can be balance in the spiritual and material worlds. The two coexist in harmony. Do your best to make that happen now. This is a time to reclaim your personal power. Chin up, head high at every moment. You are more than your ego. Be sure to quiet the left brain chatter that's coming from that ego. You'll know it. Ego doesn't feel quite right. And it's often from a fear or worry-based space. Also be aware that some kind of recognition may be coming as it does. Accept it. Recurring eights are also about justice being served and karma balancing. This number is a very clear indication that Archangel Raziel is near you. All right, recurring nines, a very powerful conclusion of a cycle. Transformation is happening now and there's a sense of letting go you may be feeling or coming ahead. So this number is your sign to prepare for endings and to complete projects. Anything lingering, close them up. Forgive yourself and others at this time. The nines indicate it's a time to foster deep transition on all levels. Forgiving allows that to happen. Any lingering lower energies around forgiving of others, this is a good time to bring closure and conclusion of that cycle. Allow yourself to let go, trust and surrender. Along with forgiving, be patient, be tolerant. It's an incredibly important time to resolve conflicts, heal past wounds, 
and most especially with family. Open up to being compassionate. The recurring nines also come with a humanitarian-like essence or energy. So environmental interests or animal-related interests you have or pursuits, explore them from that humanitarian perspective. Join a cause. It's a time to give selflessly. Recurring nines are also connected to a creative and artistic opportunity coming and serving you. So do open to the arts and explore that. Open your mind. This trilogy of numbers indicates there's a vast change and a level up ahead. Archangel Uriel is now around you and working with you. Invite that in. All right, our final recurring number, zero, zero, zero. This is a little bit less common, but it does come in. And it's all about that fresh start and reaching your potential. And finally, freedom of choice. Three things intertwined. You have come full circle when you see the zero, zero, zero. It's telling you that you are starting a new phase and possibly a new chapter. You might even think of it as a new book in your life of books. This is an opportune time to buy a home, have a child. Speaking of books, write a book. Care for your health at this time. This number code speaks incredibly to our health and our body. It is an optimal time to do something like train for a race. Start back up with a nutrition plan you've gotten away from. Things like redesigning the kitchen, cleaning out closets, overhauls in your life, cleaning out clutter. This is what recurring zeros are all about. Embarking on something completely new. Consider this as well during this time if you're seeing this number. All possibilities are within reach. Your potential is limitless. We talked about cleaning out the closet. You can spring cleaning is a great time. You may not be spring, but do the spring cleaning in some facet. Give away what you don't need or aren't using. The energy behind the three zeros is powerful. It's telling you that you are infinite, eternal, and one with all that is, ever was, or will be. You are ever tethered with the universe, wrapped in a warm blanket of divine energy. All right, everyone. In summary, it is a blessing and a gift to see repeating numbers. See them as so. An incredible new you is blossoming as you begin to be open and receive these numbers. So embrace that and enjoy this time. Remember that this is a sign that your higher self is at your back 
and that there is so much more ahead for you if you'll listen. Also remember that there is an underlying ripple effect at work here. By that, what I mean is that as you begin to see these repeating or recurring numbers, you're also going to begin to see unique synchronicities happening in other areas of your life. Be especially mindful right now of your dream space, as this is also one of the easiest ways our higher self or spirit can send us messages, or your guides or the universe. Breathe in all this additional divine alignment, all these messages as they come to you. Really, everyone, strap on your seatbelts after that, because if you'll allow this in, your life will change immensely. It's just a matter of listening, trusting it, and letting that higher self lead. All right. With that, we will come to a close. It's been a pleasure and honor to bring this episode to you. Once again, a very popular and fun topic. I hope that it has been some a benefit to you. As always, for any questions or comments, be sure to reach out at 800-607-1770. I always appreciate your comments or questions. I look forward, everyone, to visiting with you again very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour with Michelle Beltran. If you like what you heard, please share our podcast with a friend. And be sure to visit michellebeltran.com to get Michelle's popular Develop Your Clairvoyance ebook.